Okay. Talk to the camera. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> My name is Frank Mugisha. I work with an organization called Sexual Minorities Uganda, which is an LGBT, lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender advocacy uh, network of organizations in Uganda. The challenges are still uh, very many. In Uganda, as long as someone stands out and speaks out on LGBT rights, or any person who comes out to anyone is potentially at risk. So there are, there are challenges as simple as coming out to your friends, your family, or even being in the fear of being outed by the media, the fear of being outed on social media or by your friends. So the challenges in Uganda is still for LGBT person is, is still about surviving as an LGBT person. However, we still have the difficulties of dealing with the political situation, the fear that the members of parliament could bring up an anti-gay legislation, the fear that uh, police could arrest someone, the arbitrary arrests, the forced annual examinations that LGBT persons undergo when they are arrested, being paraded before the media, and of course, the whole ignorance about LGBT rights by the general public that we have to do a lot of sensitization to change the mindsets of the way some of the Ugandans think when they think about LGBT rights. Being arrested for my work was one of the, um, the hardest moments um, since I've been doing this work. First of all, there was too much fear. The way I was arrested was so scary that we had all these many police officers dragging me down the building and pushing me and shoving me on a, on a, on a, on a police truck in a very violent way, you know, handcuffed. And then the derogatory treatment by the inmates in the well in police custody. And of course, the torture that we underwent with, uh, with, uh, with my friends. And for me, I was, that was the time when I had to think about my life, my, my safety, that I've taken for granted many times. That is the moment when I saw the value of life and the value of being alive, because I didn't know what was going to happen in the cell, being, in the, being with the inmates who were very violent and who seemed that they had the impunity to do anything to any inmate in there and not only towards the LGBT persons that I was with, or myself, but also the other inmates. And it's a very crowded uh, police cell. And I was also worried about, you know, getting any kind of diseases, and then thinking about um, possibility of sexual assault, think about possibility of torture. But fortunately, I wasn't um, detained for a long time. I would like to see the Trump's administration work on promoting LGBT rights, not only in Uganda, but uh, also focus on uh, global promotion of LGBT rights. I know support, directly support activists, and also be interested in the human rights of LGBT persons, and also dialogue and talk to governments that are violating LGBT persons' rights. Uh, what I would like to say is that we don't, we cannot um, always, you know, be very dependent on politicians in terms of supporting our work. We'd like to get uh, civil society groups, human rights groups, and the ordinary LGBT persons, you know, in the, especially in the United States, to think about, you know, supporting the global LGBT movement. And I'm not saying, you know, that come and support Uganda. I'm saying get involved. Get involved in your own neighborhood, in your own society. Get involved with your own politicians, with your own local government. Get involved with your best charity that you want to support and support them. Because everything that you have achieved here in the U.S. could be taken away just because you're taking things for granted. And we see what is happening in church in here. This shouldn't be happening in 2017. This could happen anywhere else. So we need to not take things for granted and say we have it all or have achieved a lot, but the fight still goes on and we should continue getting engaged every day.
the last five songs in my playlist. Can I check? <laughs> let me let me let me check. Okay, so I have Vision of Love by Mariah Carey, Rihanna, Stay, Love on the Brain, Rihanna. <laughs> I have too much Rihanna, my God. Remind me, at least I have remind me, Conrad. Mm -hmm. So those are five. <laughs> thank, thank you.